Yes, sir! OKC Thunder News, boys. The Thunder are trying to trade up for Cade Cunningham in the NBA draft, boys. We got to talk about it. Make sure you guys click the like button before we get into this. Leave comments down below. I appreciate that. So let's get into it, boys. How do I know about this news? Well, Brandon Rabar, he's the Thunder beat writer. He works for the Daily Thunder. He writes articles about the Thunder. He's close to the team. He knows a lot about what's going on. He reported that the Thunder are in talks. They are currently engaged in talks with the Detroit Pistons to trade up to get the first pick in the draft this year and ultimately draft Cade Cunningham, guys. So what does this news mean? What does this mean? Like, why, why, why would the Thunder want to trade up in this draft? So as we know, the Thunder this year, they got really screwed over. Everyone was thinking it was a possibility the Thunder could have two top five picks in this year's draft. Turns out they didn't even get one. This might be a little bit of karma for the Thunder because they have 300 fucking first round draft picks for the next couple of years. So it only makes sense why they would get screwed over in the draft. We were expecting the Thunder to get two top five picks. Instead, they got the sixth pick. I think they got the 16th pick and the 18th pick. Overall, those are pretty trash picks, guys. In a different draft, you might be able to use those picks to move up in the draft. Like in last year's draft, if you had those three picks, you could very likely move up into the top three or top four easily just using those picks alone because last year's draft was not as good. But this year's draft is much more talented. We got a lot of franchise-changing guys that are available. So why would the Thunder want to trade up? Because this year, a lot of people are looking at it as a top five draft and the Thunder have the sixth pick. So in a top five draft, what that means is the top five of the draft is where the cream of the crop players are. Players like Cade, Jalen Green, Evan Mobley, J Jalen Suggs, and Jonathan Kaminga. Those are the, the cream of the crop of this year's draft. The Thunder have the sixth pick, so they wouldn't be able to get one of those top five guys. In my opinion, it's a top six draft. I like what Scotty Barnes has to offer. I don't like that his name sounds like Scotty Bonds, which is a restaurant in Toronto. Scotty Bonds fucking sucks. I hate it. But that's a whole different discussion. Let's talk about the draft. So I think it's a top six draft. Like if I'm the Thunder, I think Scotty Barnes would be a great pickup for them. I think he fits well. He could play some four. He could play some small ball five. Great defender. I think that his ball skills are decent for his size. So I wouldn't mind getting a guy like Scotty Barnes if I'm not able to move up in the draft. But why the Thunder would want to move up in the draft is because it is, according to most of the draft experts it's really like a top five draft in my opinion the top two players Jalen Green are Jalen Green and Cade Cunningham and they're a bit better than the rest of the guys like Evan Mobley Jalen Shuggs in my opinion I like Cade and I like Jalen for the top two so it would make sense why the Thunder want to trade up for him what would it take for the Thunder to trade up for Cade well, no one has put out any packages that the Thunder have offered yet. We don't know exactly what the Thunder are offering. But if it's me, if I'm the Pistons from the Thunder, I'm going to be asking. Obviously, I'm asking for Shea Gilgis Alexander, but that's not happening. You're not trading. You're not trading Shea, who's only 22 years old, averaging like 50, 40, and 80. Like, bro, like this guy's a beast. Shea, Shea's only 22. He's going to be with the Thunder for a very long time now. So I don't see them trading Shea to get Kate. It just doesn't make sense. If I'm the Thunder, I'm offering the Pistons some future picks because we all know the Thunder have 300 first round picks. So I'm offering them a couple future first round picks, maybe two or three. I'm going to offer them the sixth pick so they can still get someone in this year's draft who's very talented, someone like Scotty Barnes, maybe. And I'm going to offer them. If necessary, I'm willing to offer one of our young prospects, whether it be a guy like Poku. Obviously not Poku because Poku's the GOAT. Poku's better than LeBron. But maybe a guy like Poku, maybe a guy like Lou Dort, because Lou Dort's on that fantastic contract, one of the best contracts in the NBA. If that's something that the Pistons value, I may consider throwing in Lou Dort into the trade, guys. That's just my opinion. So a trade for Cade Cunningham might look like something like, two to three future first round picks, the sixth pick and a young prospect. I think that might be able to get it done dep depending if the Pistons value those things. If the Pistons don't value anyone with the sixth pick, if the Pistons don't value future picks going forward and they don't value a guy like Lou Dort or Poku, then this trade won't happen. But I'm saying as a Thunder, this is what I'm offering the Pistons. If they value Kemba, I'll throw Kemba in there too. But I just don't think they want Kemba as they are a young team trying to rebuild. So that's what I think it would take to trade for Cade. Uh, uh, what's his name? Brandon Rabar, the beat writer for the Thunder, also reported that 
it's more likely that the Thunder trade up with a team like the Rockets, the Cavs, or the Raptors for the two pick, the three pick, or the four pick, because the Pistons do pretty much have their mind made up that they're going to take Cade. They're obviously listening to all trade offers because as a GM, you have to listen to all offers when you have the first pick. It's called doing your due diligence, but it's much more likely to see the Thunder trade up for the second, third, or fourth pick. The thing to keep in mind, though, is that for this to happen, that the Thunder are going to have to take back a bad contract the way they've done before with guys like Al Horford and Chris Paul. They're going to have to take on a bad contract if they trade with a team like the Cavs or the Rockets. So if they trade for the three pick, they would have to take back Kevin Love very likely. And if they trade for the two pick, they would have to take back John Wall very likely. Both of these guys are older than 30. They have max contracts and they're not anywhere near max players. So the Thunder would be taking an L in that sense, but it's worth it to get a number one pick, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are on this situation in the comments. Do you think the Thunder should try and trade up for Cade? Maybe trade up for the two pick, get a guy like Jalen Green. Maybe trade up to the three pick, get a guy like Evan Mobley. Maybe trade up to the four pick, get a guy like Suggs from, from the Raptors. So let me know what you guys think. What do you want to see the Thunder do in this year's draft? They have the 16th and 18th pick as well, but I don't really know about the mid lottery or the later in the first round. I don't know if there's any talented players there. So yeah, let me know your opinion, guys. Other than that, leave a like on the video. We're going to have more NBA news coming once the finals is done. But other than that, subscribe to the channel and have a good day, guys. Peace.